And at the, end, at the end of the day, uh, Jackson getting traded away and all those guys, it was a business decision. Yeah. It was business. But uh, speaking of business, um, everyone's yeah, uh, beloved owner, uh, Mr. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, uh, made another business decision this last couple, these last couple of days. And he decided to sell a portion of the team while simultaneously keeping uh, a majority Trump. control of, of the organization, how it runs, and Boss the player personnel. Move. So, uh, give me guys' thought on that. Uh, this is a, a cash play. Okay. It's leverage. Okay. Uh, when we can, when we start competing, this will make it more easiest, easier for us to go over the luxury tax because we have a partner. He he would have a partner that's able to help him pay the luxury tax because let's, we talked about this before in the podcast. Michael Jordan is by far not the richest owner in the NBA. Uh, Charlotte is breaking even, making profits barely at best. Uh, this also brings another voice in. Uh, it can help us on the business side with innovations and things of that nature. Uh, and don't panic. We're not moving nowhere. Right, right, right. Uh, we're not moving to New York. That right. market is oversaturated. We're not about to be the New Jersey Queen Bees or, right, right, right. or now, the Seattle. To, to answer me, potatoes that before I let you get it, Jamal, uh, Roddy mentioned that Michael is 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 nowhere near one of the richest owners in the league. Uh, the richest owner in the league is Steve Palmer out there with the uh, Clippers, who uh, Palmer, sorry about that, who's worth forty four point five billion dollars. And meanwhile, our very own Michael Jordan, uh, first ever African American owner, first ever uh, former player owner, is uh, coming in at a whopping one point nine billion dollars. So Jamal, go ahead and take it from there. <laughs> um, boss move. Okay, absolutely, boss. Move move now a lot the casual fans it it, it it's not gonna it's I not gonna so disappoint it's not gonna resonate <laughs> it, it, it's it's not gonna move the needle because it doesn't really mean too much on the basketball yeah, yeah. side it really doesn't you get what i'm saying these the, the two guys that uh that are are going to be our owners with along with michael are not basketball guys you get what i'm saying these are venture capitalist tech guys who have deep pockets but to kind of you know steal some of Rodney's points, uh, Michael Jordan I guess solicited these guys because uh, you know they could offer like innovative ideas yeah, yeah. around technology. They're, they're investors. They're investors. They're investors. And, and and they and they, could, they could make like the in game experience better. They could they they could they they have ideas for, as far as how to build the brand so to speak. Now again, that's kind of disappointing to a lot of fans who want. Basketball guys and who are really disappointed. Michael said, "I'm going to maintain control over basketball stuff." But <clears throat> at the same time, man, as a business move, it is an absolutely brilliant, in my opinion, business move. And I want to give y'all two props again for something because we we were talking about how the Brooklyn Nets, Miguel Prokhorov, deep as his pockets were, he also. Uh, gave up some ownership or, or sold some ownership in the Nets. Now, not to say this was a direct result of that, but you see the situation they're in now. Yeah, agreed. It, it obviously worked out in their favor. You get what I'm saying? Negro Domus. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> so gonna, hopefully the same fortune happens for the Hornets. I'm going to read a tweet, and I want you guys to just go. All right, just want you guys to just respond, okay? Oh boy, here we go. The, you, you stir the pot today. In regards, in regards to Michael Jordan uh, selling a portion of the team to the Hornets, um, it was said on Twitter, if anything, this just reaffirms that the Hornets were a business decision for Jordan, oh not a passion God. project. Jesus he bought the team Christ. low and is selling a portion <laughs> of it when the value of NBA teams is high. Ronnie, go first. Okay, so... Honestly, I think this is Michael Jordan recognizing, hey, my pockets really aren't that deep. I'm making a profit, but I'm not maximizing my profit. Can you, can you stop making sense, please? And so I can see this as a whole kind of business reset. We were setting the roster. We were setting with the owner, new ownership. Hey, we're going to add this to the fan experience to make this better. We're going to add this to, to to make the pair player experience better. We want to become a true destination for the players, and so I understand it like that. That that's that that that's that's that, that's that's where I'm coming from. Like more ears and the 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 CFO CEO meetings are better than just Michael Jordan. I have to say so. Da, 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 da. So it's 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 better. Like you just don't own a team because you're not passionate about it. Like. 
You have to have some type of passion for it. Like Michael isn't Jordan. It, isn't this what the fans wanted? <laughs> the fans don't know what no, the hell they no, want. No, no, the fans wanted MJ to own 45% and this new guy to own 55% and Michael Jordan just be the figurehead. That's what they wanted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, really? Angry black fan, what you got? Ronnie, I really appreciate that logical, sensible. Oh, somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to tear me up for it. An <laughs> intelligent response. I'm not going to be as intelligent and sensible about this. I don't know how many times I have to have personal conversations with people about Michael Jordan and his passion as an owner. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all were born before 1990 or whatever. I, 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 I can't count how many times I've had to say this again. This dude is the most competitive man that anybody has ever met. You just don't lose it overnight. You just don't lose that. It's a part of who he is. There are people who still don't understand and who still don't get the concept of running a basketball team is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And just because you have mishaps, mistakes, uh, bad fortune, whatever you want to call the Hornet situation, whatever you think that is, it does not mean you don't care. There are still people who do not have a fundamental understanding of how the business of basketball works. Vince just told y'all the high guy has $44 billion. Michael is the low guy with like 1.9. These two investors help that situation to help the Hornets possibly uh, uh, have more leverage and have more ground to get better players. And y'all are still going to damn complain. I, this fan base makes me want to pull this little bit of hair I have out when it talks about this guy. What is y'all? What the hell is wrong with y'all sometimes, man? And to be honest, uh, to be honest with you, man, God, I, I'm I'm going to take it somewhere else. Look, for Michael Jordan to be worth 1.9 billion dollars, he's born in 1963. Black people did not have the right to vote in 1963. Ooh, still boy. be in red line and everything like that. For him to be worth 1.9 billion dollars is a hell of a job. Y'all know what somebody's gonna say, right? Y'all y'all know what's going. I, I don't care. Y'all well, just you know, you know what's gonna happen, right? Somebody who doesn't know how to salary cap work. Oh, so they got more money to go get Kevin Durant now, right? Well, look, at the, at the end of the day, y'all, oh, with Jesus Michael Jordan, uh, Quasi Quasi, only caring about his money, uh, by bringing more people in, as they continue to make more profit, he actually gets less money because he has to now divvy that he has money to up, up three people. But we'll see how this goes in the future. So we got to go pay some more bills, and uh, we'll be right back, y'all. All right? Got roaches. Got to get roaches out. <laughs> got to get roaches out.